Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, January 27th, 2022. Turkish trained troops deployed in Belitwene amid a standoff over Gudlawe's planned visit. This article is taken from Hiran. Hundreds of troops from the Haramad paramilitary unit were this morning flown from Mogadishu to Belitwine following the entry of rebel forces in the town Monday. Planes carrying the troops reportedly numbering 400 landed at Ugaz Caliph Airport in Belitwine Wednesday morning. The troops are said to be the first batch and the government was on course to send more forces. The deployment of the troops, sources said, was to prepare the ground and protect the arrival of Hir Shabeli State President Ali Gudlawe, whose attempts to travel to Belitwene have failed since he came into office in November 2020. Forces from the Hiran Revolutionary Council, HRC, Monday entered Belitwene and occupied strategic parts of the town. There was, however, no clash with government forces. The deployment of the Turkish trained forces come amid reports that talks between President Mohamed Formajo and HRC co-leader General Abukar Hud in Mogadishu failed. General Hud said in a TV interview Monday he was still in support of the HRC and that Gulawe was not welcome in Mogadishu. Belitwene is the second polling center for Hir Shabeli State and has 25 seats. So this area, uh, Belitwene, is uh, they're having a, an election, a local election. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I know that much about it, but uh, there was another article that said that these troops that are actually a, a paramilitary force uh, or militia um, are loyal to the uh, the pers a person that is uh, running for office in this area, who is uh, um, not approved of by the uh, the government, so I mean there are a lot of a lot of things involved here. And uh, again, I'm not going to pretend that I know uh, much about it. But the more we report about this stuff, the more we'll know. I'm sure the the um, the Somalis know all about this, but uh, the 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 bottom line is you have a militia, a local. Uh, you could call it a mo local militia, even though they were uh, flown in from the capital to this this town. Um, you know, I I don't know. Um, it seems that the person that they're going to provide security for is obviously he's running for office, but I, I'm assuming that he's from that town or from that that uh, region of Somalia. And um, uh, they were, these troops are like special forces. They were trained by Turkey. So the, the main thing that I'm getting from this is that um, I think the, um, Situation on the ground in Somalia is very tense at the moment, unfortunately, because you have uh, different factions. You, you don't really have just a uh, the government forces and you know and everybody uh, behind them fighting uh, Al Shabaab. You have uh, government forces that are against. Uh, it seems the militia here, or vice versa, the militia is against the government forces. So um, we'll uh, keep an eye on this. 
but as I said, the other article said that these forces were not sent there to intimidate people, obviously, uh, uh, so that uh, they would vote a certain way or maybe not show up to the polls or whatever. So I'm sure we'll, we'll know more about this, but we, we know the basics.